Hello fellow engineers, now I want to show you a problem with this object itself and if I double click this you can see that our rotational point is over here which I don't want it to be because when I go and change the angle it's not rotating around the center which should be here now that is because the center of origin is is off center. It's been built actually off center from the um, original center of the world. And I'm going to recreate a scenario and show you how to fix that issue in this video. And it's quite easy to do. It can be a bit fiddly but once you know the process you can actually apply to any of your objects so I'm going to close this one first and we're going to come back to this one so it's got that and I'm going to create a new FreeCAD file I'm going to jump into the part design and I'm going to create a body and I'm going to create a sketch and place it along the XY plane now first of all I'm going to demonstrate how the issue occurs so, normal process, if I create a standard, well not standard, a interesting polygon, like so, uh, there we go, let's get that, make sure those are connected up, let's get rid of those, it's going well so far, isn't it? those two together there we go so this sketch the center of origin will be here when I pad this up so let me close this pad there we go give it a two millimeter pad so if we look at our view and go toggle axis cross we can see where that's been built so this will rotate around that, that area when I make this a composite object. So at the moment I can rotate it around the axis of the actual world itself by clicking on the body and changing the angle. There we go, you can see it rotating there. To give that body itself a actual axis to create it as a compound object. So to do that we jump into the part workbench and go down to make sure our body has been selected. This one here. So our body has been selected. Go to part, compound, make compound. Now what this does is if I click on the compound object now you'll see that after double clicking I can actually move this around so it's giving it its own um, axis there axis handler so we can OK that and we can actually now I've clicked on our, our compound object we can actually change the angle and we can place it anywhere on, sc on screen and change the angle so that's great so that's all good but say if I wanted the center of rotation here on one of these points so to do that we need to come into the body which is here Ooh. which is here and we need to have a look at the sketch itself so if I double click this sketch we wouldn't see anything at all and that's because if we look up our body is invisible so we need to toggle, toggle the active body on that one which it already is and toggle visibility so there's our original and what we now need to do is for safety sakes I'm going to toggle the visibility of the compound object and I'm going to go to the click the body and now I should be able to change the position So I'm going to click the top view, and I want to move this down to this, this down to here. So let's go back to our 
body position. So I can just move these coordinates with, I'm using the up and down arrow keys here to change it to six mils there. And the up arrow would get us down to the bottom. And just changing the X slightly. Let's try 3.5 on that. 3.5, no, 4.5, 4.2, that's about right. So that should be all good. Now, has this changed our compound object? So if I toggle the visibility of that and toggle the visibility of this, so that's all looking good. Let's double click, compound object, and we can see our center of rotation has changed. So that's great. So we've now got this on the center. We can change the angle. So look at the angle. And we can see that it's now rotating around that point of where we've, we've, we've actually changed, now changed that center. So there's no need to go into the sketch to actually change the sketch. We can do it all from the body itself. There are other ways. Um, if this was a complex object, we could actually add a helper object to this and recreate it as a another compound object. And I'll show you that now. So if I click on the top, we're still in our part design, so if I click on the create a cylinder, and I'm going to use this as a helper object. So this is another way of changing the actual axis. So if I go into make sure our cylinder has been selected, and change the height, and change the radius, and now I can move the compound object over and I am going to place the compound object in a different place this time. So this is good for anything that hasn't got a hole. Um, there we go. So Obviously, if you put a cylinder in there, you're going to have to do some additional alterations to actually recreate the hole in there if you want a hole that passes straight through the object. So my cylinder is in the middle. I've got a new center for rotation. Okay. So just a reminder, this is another way of doing it. So now I've got my cylinder. I'm going to use that as a handler object. And I'm going to click my cylinder, click my compound, we're in the center of our world, and now we can use the drawing walled objects in the part. Or we could use even connect objects, embed objects. Or you use the cutout for objects, that might work. So let's connect the objects first. And there we go, so that's connected. So we've got a new object over here. Double click that one, and you can see we've got a handler. That allows us to move at that point. And also, the important thing, go to click on the connect object, the new one, go down to our angle, and we can now move that in 3D space around that new center of rotation. So let's have a go at the other one that was in there, which I must admit I've never used. So I'm going to move that to the center. Let's pick a different point again. Let's, let's move that up to, uh, let's do it there, round about there. So okay that. Create a cylinder and that's huge. Click on the cylinder, let's alter the height down to 
So it was three millimeters, wasn't it? Was it two? Yeah, two millimeters. And let's try the clicking on those two and change the. Let's go for cutout. Must be shape and non type. Click continue anyway or abort. Let's abort that. Hmm. So I'm guessing it doesn't actually work with our connect. So I'm going to get rid of the connect altogether. And we've got our compound object back our old cylinder and our new cylinder so let's get rid of the cylinder the old, that's it so we've got the new cylinder let's move our compound object into place now let's try try those two and joined wall objects cut out objects there we go so we've got a nice hole there now using the cutout so it works on the compound the original compound it doesn't work on a join or a connect so we've actually created a hole there and we should be able to rotate around that hole angle and rotate and there you go so we rotate around that hole we can move this to wherever we want and you can see we've got our axis around that hole and allows us to rotate so there you go so that's a there's a couple of ways of actually recentering or adjusting our axis point for rotation on an object you've created and how to uh, just just watch out for when you're actually creating these objects in the first place that you create them around around the center of your sketch of your world when you're using the sketch but if you get into the situation where you want to change the axes you can easily do that with the technique that I've shown you okay cheers guys and see you in the near future